All right, let's see if we can put it all together and see how we synthesize a protein and how protein is moved throughout the cell and what would be its final destination. So here's the DNA inside the nucleus and then during the process of transcription, we produce mRNA. So mRNA will leave the nucleus through the pores and lay down between two ribosomes. So ribosomes at this point are attached to the ER and this is where they're going to synthesize the protein based on the mRNA instructions. So you can see protein has been produced right here and it's sitting in the cavity of the ER. The ER will help fold the protein, glycosylate it, meaning attach the sugar chains to it, and then package the protein in the form of a transport vesicle. So you can see a membrane is pinching, enclosing the protein within, and now the vesicle is traveling to the next destination, which is going to be Golgi. So this is your Golgi body, or Golgi apparatus. So you can see this vesicle is now fusing with the cis face of Golgi, and the proteins are gonna be further modified as they travel through the mid cisterna, medial cisterna here, and then eventually they will end up at the trans phase of Golgi. And this is where we actually pinch off another vesicle, which now contains a modified protein. So now one of the two things will happen to this vesicle. This vesicle could be destined for secretion, so it's going to fuse with plasma membrane and secrete all the protein out. In the case of this, for example, if this is a pancreatic cell, the pancreatic cell is producing a protein called insulin, and this insulin is being secreted into the bloodstream. Or this vesicle can actually become a lysosome. So it can add in, stay inside the cell and help digest uh, intracellular material. So we're going to talk about them next.